Hey, howdy, hey, and welcome back to Disney Daily. With the addition of Frozen 2, we learn more about the fearless sisters from Arendelle, their kingdom, and even their parents. But we don't seem to get any information about the rugged and charming Kristoff. Kristoff comes off as a more complex character in the second installment, but we don't get much answered about his past. Or do we? With the introduction of the Northuldra, it got me thinking, what if Kristoff is from the Northuldra tribe? In today's video, we take a closer look at Kristoff's childhood and if in fact he was from the tribe. For those of you who may not remember, in the first movie, we learn that Kristoff is an orphan and it is revealed from one notable source that he was actually placed in an orphanage at an early age. However, due to Kristoff's rambunctious and adventurous ways, he didn't last long in the facility. He would always sneak out and go into the woods where he felt more at peace. One day, Kristoff just never returned and became more of a nomad. Kristoff, on one of his explorations, came across Sven, who he actually rescued and the two were inseparable ever since. One important detail about Kristoff besides him being a loner is his fascination with ice. We see that played out in the opening scene of Frozen. Kristoff would occupy his time by regularly following around the Arendelle's ice harvester team. His persistence and willingness to learn allowed him to develop these skills which would help him in the future to become an ice harvester himself. However, his life would forever change one night in the woods. This is the same night when Elsa accidentally struck struck Anna in the head with her powers. In an attempt to heal Anna, the royal family rushed into the woods in order to seek the counsel of the magical trolls. As it turns out, Kristoff and Sven would find a trail of ice left behind by Elsa, which they decided to follow. As they got to the end of the trail, they would not only witness the royal family, but they would meet the trolls. And as we know, the trolls would become his family. When I dug a little deeper about the information regarding this particular scene, I found out that Kristoff was only seven years old when when he encounters the trolls. So if you were like me, then you were probably thinking, how was this child wandering the wilderness alone? How did he survive and fend for himself? This next part is completely my own theory to try to explain this, so sit back and enjoy. I believe Kristoff is from the Northuldra tribe. However, his family was not in the enchanted forest at the time that the spirits became enraged and locked everyone in, as we see in Frozen 2. I think it's possible that not all of the Northuldra were in the forest at the time for a number of reasons, whether it was travel, hunting, or even riding reindeer for recreation. I think his parents were forced to raise him outside of the forest because they weren't able to return. They raised Kristoff in the wild, surviving on the lands and using the elemental spirit of the wind, who we know to be Gale, to help guide them in times of need. One unfortunate day when Kristoff was just a youngin, his parents were attacked by a pack of wolves. As they saw the wolves approach, they knew that they had to sacrifice themselves and serve as a distraction. They placed young Kristoff in a cave and began running as far away from him as they possibly could, and they would ask Gale to watch over him. Because the spirits would regularly help the Northuldra, it was Gale who lifted baby Kristoff and took him to the orphanage, which is how he would find himself there. Now you are probably wondering why wouldn't Kristoff remember being from the Northuldra tribe? Well, I have two explanations. One is very simple and straightforward. When he lost his parents, he was too young to remember what happened. From basic psychology, we know children don't start to develop memories until after age two. The second explanation had to do with the all-knowing troll leader, Pobby. As you may recall, Pobby the troll was magical and had the ability to completely wipe out somebody's memory. We see that occur when he erases Anna's memory of Elsa's powers and any memory of magic. I think once Kristoff began living with the trolls, they realized how much trauma he had endured. He revealed his depressing past of feeling alone and unwanted. He couldn't remember if his parents were real or just a figment of his imagination. In an attempt to ease his mind and take away his pain, Pobby cleared the memory of any past traumas. I think Pobby believed that he was doing what was right for Kristoff. He saw how lonely he was and wanted him to feel like he had a place to call home. Additionally, Pobby knew that even if the trolls wanted to return him home to his tribe, they couldn't because the enchanted forest was sealed shut. And if I'm being quite honest, I think Kristoff being Northuldra would make the story come full circle, and I don't think this lack of information about Kristoff's past is on accident. I believe it sets us up for a Frozen 3 movie where we would finally learn about Kristoff's mysterious past and his secret connection to the forest. Now, what I mean by the story coming full circle is there being another unity of Northuldra and Arendelle. I believe Kristoff and Anna represent a new and improved 
Queen Aduna and King Agnar, one from the forest and one from the kingdom. Essentially, history would be repeating itself, but in a good way. Well, that concludes my theory on Kristoff being part of the Northuldra, but what do you think? My question for you all today is who is your favorite character from Frozen? As always, thanks for being my guest here at Disney Daily. Until next time.